hello everyone in this uh, video tutorial uh, I will show you how you can use simple Monte Carlo simulation to integrate any function uh, using the Excel so I choose Excel because uh, it is very visual and uh, I can show you how the concept uh, for Monte Carlo simulation progresses now you can always do uh, the same simulations in other programming languages too but I do prefer Excel uh, for at least the tutorial purposes so let me start so for Monte Carlo simulations first requirement is a random number so how will you get a random number so if you say uh, is equal to and then say uh, R A N D and two parentheses so that will give you a random number between uh, 0 and 1 so you can always modify this uh, if you want a random number between uh, 1 and 10, 0 and 10 then you can multiply this random number with 10 and then you will get random number uh, between uh, 0 and 10 right so now suppose uh, I define a range so now let's say this is my range for, and uh, this is the range for for x and this is a range for y right let me drag it here and uh, I'll say uh, the lower limit is suppose 3 and for this one is 5 and for say 5 and let's say 7 right so now what I can do is uh, if I want a random number between 3 and 5 then I can say 3 plus bracket 5 minus 3 so I should not say 3 here I should choose this cell so that I can change it later if I want to so this is how it is so now you can see let me pull it here yeah so now you can see this is a random number between 3 and 5 so this number will remain between 3 and 5 so we can do similar thing for y also so so now let's say it is x and this is now y and I say uh, is equal to 5 plus 7 minus 5 into ren. So now this is again a number between 5 and 7 no? so now I want to copy the same number uh, to the next uh, rows and for that uh, I want to keep the reference for this range same so what I'll do is uh, I'll put a dollar sign here a dollar sign here and same way I put a dollar sign so putting a dollar sign will fix the reference and when we move the cell or, or we drag the cell or copy the cell somewhere else then the reference would remain same now so now you can see that if I drag it below then this number is still referring to the same range and this number is still referring to the same range right so let me uh, drag it down and uh, I'll try to generate around 5000 points because that will give me a good statistics uh, but you can always uh, uh, choose it based on uh, how much accurate numbers do you want right so these are the number of points so now uh, I'll also say I'll go up and now you can see that uh, uh, I can change let me change from 0 to 5 then 0 to 7 so now these are all my numbers so let me uh, try to plot uh, x y data and see how this data looks like uh, because that will uh, better uh, give us the idea of how this uh, scattering is so I'll choose this and Uh, say insert so I remove the chart title and I remove this function so now you can see uh, it is a, a rectangle uh, which ranges from 0 to 7 or 0 to 5 in x axis and 0 to 7 in y axis and it is filled with random points but because we have a lot of points so everything in the uh, in this uh, uh, rectangle is been occupied so if I 
click on some cell and press it again then you can see the rectangle changes a little bit and all the number changes but still because there's a lot of points everything is filled up so this is uh, our first uh, uh, generation of uh, so we generated the first rectangle and now let me uh, define a curve so now suppose uh, we want to do uh, integration for y is equal to x so let me take you a simple example so our function is y is equal to x right so now what i'll do here is i'll say uh, is equal to if uh, y is less than x then i will use x otherwise i will just say zero right and i say enter and same way here if i say if y is less than x then i choose uh, y otherwise say zero right so it's, it goes like this so then i can just double click here so everything is copied uh, below so now um, i can also simplify it instead of saying if y is less than uh, x i can also say if uh, uh, this number is equal to uh, zero then say zero otherwise in this number so that is a uh, i did that because uh, if later on i modify the equation then i don't have to modify this number uh, this one i can just modify this one so now you can see that we have certain zeros and certain um, numbers uh, whenever there is a zero then y is greater than x so you can see here that y is greater than x but here y is less than x so i see a number here so now let me also do another uh, calculation that is a uh, number of total data points so how many uh, number i have simulated here so i'll say one one so no i'll say one and i'll say this is equal to one and then i'll just double click here so i'll get the one everywhere but here i'll say if this is equal to zero then zero otherwise one now here i will only get one when so let me do this again so i will only get one when these numbers have a value if they are zero then this will also be zero so now i can say uh, is equal to sum and i'll write it all the way down oh, sorry is equal to sum so these are total five three two four points but if i use the condition then the sum will be one nine zero five so so out of five three two four points i only have one nine zero five points in uh, the condition if the, which met the condition that y should be less than x right so let me also uh, plot uh, this scattered uh, this uh, random numbers for you which are uh, which have this condition that y should be less than x and see how that looks like so uh, i'll do this and then i say insert plot so as you can see that y uh, is equal to x is a straight line so now anything which is below the straight line uh, is being used but anything which is above the straight line is not being used so this uh, in a way is the area under the curve which is what uh, integration is all about right so now uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll calculate this area but i don't know how to calculate i know how many points are there in this one so first of all i know the area for this uh, rectangle 
and that area is equal to so i'll say total area that is equal to uh, so you can see that the side of the rectangle is uh, 5 minus 0 so 5 so this will be equal to uh, side on the x-axis and side on the y-axis so if I multiply that that will be the area of rectangle so I'll say 5 minus 0 into 7 minus 0 right so this is our total area so our total area is 35 so now you can uh, see that uh, if I need to calculate the area under this line all I need to do is say is equal to so this many points 5 3 2 4 point corresponds to 35 area so how much 9 9 3 6 points will correspond to so for that I'll say 35 into 1 9 3 6 divided by 5 3 2 4 so that is the area under the curve so that is my value for integration so let me let me also uh, put a name for them so we drag it here uh, so we drag this here and so this is total points and this is points under the curve and this is our area under the curve right so now uh, we have this uh, um, system where we can modify the equation and we can calculate the area under the curve but let me uh, also do some more modifications so now here you can see that uh, uh, i am choosing a random range uh, 0 to 5 and 0 to 7 However, if we go to more complicated functions, then I need to modify this range uh, accordingly to the function so that uh, I am independent of what kind of functions do I use. So for example, let me say that instead of y is equal to x, now I choose y is equal to x square. So I have two x's now, right? So if I, uh, so for to calculate that, what I will need to do is I need to modify these conditions. So in this condition I had if a y is less than x so instead of that I need to say it's less than x square and then I need to double click on it so now you can see that y is equal to x square is more of a parabola so you can see now I have a curve here but uh, I also get this excess area on the right side which I do not need so so right now I am calculating uh, all the you know, uh, I am calculating the area which is under the curve but same time for total rectangle I am also calculating the excess area so how will I modify this I will modify this by changing the range so in this case I will say that y so you can see that uh, uh, so this is our x range 0 to 5 so y range I need to modify it to y is equal to x square so I will say is equal to 5 square so now you can see that there is no excess area and you can change the range anywhere and there will not be any excess area so now suppose if i say uh, 44 then it is still the same or if i say 22 then it's still the same so now uh, you have a, a way to calculate the area under the curve uh, by uh, using a monte carlo approach so let us test whether this is true or not or whether it is so we need to validate it uh, and calculate the area under the curve using the traditional uh, integration approach and then match the number here so uh, so to check this so now we know that the function is y is equal to x square so uh, if we take integration of this number so integration will be equal to uh, x cube divided by 
3 right so you can now put this here x q divided by 3 so this is your uh, after uh, integration and this is your function right so because our range is from 0 to 22 in x then uh, 0 will make everything 0 but for 22 what I need to do is uh, say 22 cube divided by 3 so that is my answer so 3 5 4 9 is my answer but uh, Monte Carlo is giving me 3 6 1 8 so so it is very close uh, but it is different because it's a Monte Carlo simulation so uh, it gives you number uh, by uh, randomly putting the points so the more points you put the more accurate your number will be but suppose if I change a double click on any cell and press again then you can see that the number changes and uh, this number will remain same because I calculated it but uh, our area under the curve will always change so but this is how you can do integration by Monte Carlo simulation so let us try to get some more complicated function just to make sure that everything works well so let me see if I can change the range from instead of using 0 let us do it uh, between some other function like so 10 to 22 so I say 10 here so remember if I put 10 then uh, you can see there is now uh, I have this range so this looks pretty good because uh, this is how you if you uh, this is what you wanted but same way we have not modify the y here so to modify so if you so to modify the y we also have to say is equal to 10 square so now i don't have this uh, this oh no in the in this case we will not modify the y so you can see so yeah so this thing needs to be remembered so if we modify the y also we also cut uh, this lower part uh, which we don't want to cut because we want area under the curve so we will not modify the y here so y will always remain zero so now let's uh, uh, play around with it so in this case uh, i need to uh, also change this function let me do the calculation for uh, integer which we did manually so i'll say uh, so this will be our range so i'll say uh, instead of 22 i'll give the reference of this x range and then i'll put it in the bracket and then i'll subtract the other x so because now it is not zero anymore so when we integrate we have to uh, after we get the function we have to put the upper value and the lower value so i'll do this so now this is our number and now you can see that the numbers are again uh, pretty close when you come look at uh, the uh, manually calculated integration and the one with the monte carlo simulation so now if i put it uh, to any number like suppose uh, so now let me show you so this is our curve yes yes so now let's say we modify this to uh, this number to uh, 65.4 and this one is uh, uh, 55.3 then you can see that we choose an, uh, a small curve and we are calculating the area under the curve so manually it is uh, 37176 but uh, uh, using the Monte Carlo simulation is 37464 